ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and for quite possibly the last time, I'd like to welcome you to the beginning of Gruntilda's Lair in Banjo-Kazooie, because I'm oh so good at playing video games and unlocking secrets that allow us to take shortcuts to make getting to where we were at the end of the last part a little bit easier. So unfortunately, that means that you're going to have to listen to me talk a little bit longer as we retread old familiar ground. Matilda's going to be continually laughing at her mad libs that she concocted on her own. <laughs> it's like, oh, that was the best adjective that I ever, I ever said. Green. Oh, it's my favorite color. Or what was it? It was like puke green or something. Oh, now she's taunting us. Something about her sleeves, saving herself. Cool. Well, thank you. So last time, I think we did freeze easy peak, didn't we? And we finished that. So let's go ahead and get started with Gobi's Valley, shall we? This is gonna be some uh, interesting stuff. For a desert level, it's okay. Um, I do have somewhat fond memories of it, but mostly because I sucked really bad as a ch as a child on it, and so oof, I'm gonna get stuck there on a couple of <laughs> corners. But overall, Gobi's Valley isn't really too difficult. Uh, so let's go. Ugh, made it. Sweet. All right, and ooh. Gruntilda, how is it going? What do you got for me? Alright, Grunty's best friend at which school was the awful Sweaty Betty. Oof, isn't, isn't Betty a woman's name? Not a witch. And when relaxing, she usually re- Oh, Warty Girls Weekly? <laughs> um, interesting. Good, good touch. Thank you. And last, while sipping a glass of her favorite smoothie- Elephant sweat. God, she has got a thing for the perspiration, man. I'm telling you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gobi's Valley. It's beautiful, and it is obviously more or less an homage to the desert. So we'll find one more technique in here, and aha! Hey, you! Why? Excellent. So this technique we're going to learn is actually going to be pretty component to our endeavors to finishing off Freeze Easy Peak. Also, we've got ourselves a very parched tree here by the name of Trunker. Who wants rain, despite the fact that he's completely surrounded by the stuff. <laughs> See, we will. Oh, eggs and feathers. <laughs> That's the answer to everything. Nope, you need water. Are you sure? Are you? Are you? Are you sure you just don't need this? Maybe that. This is the cause of all of your frustrations: is not having enough eggs. So these quicksand things. It's not really detrimental they just act as slopes and you have to talent trot pretty frequently throughout the course of this level so just keep in mind that you can go up those and oh this guy this asshole right here uh, we've got ourselves danger hands um, <laughs> I actually don't really know what they're called but they're annoying and I don't like them they typically do damage and yes just avoid them if you want to have yourself a good time uh, do we grab these waiting boots shall we or do we do that in a bit We'll do that in just a second. Uh, we have our flight pad here. And a lot of this level has to deal with flying pretty acrobatically throughout the level. And it's good stuff. We've got some beak bomb business up there, and then we have to fly through some hoops. It's kind of weird. That's all right. We'll go up here, and on top of this giant uh, dog sphinx thing, we can stand on his eyes, I think. <laughs> do you see me? How does, how does my butt look? I hope I don't have any diseases in there. That'd be unfortunate. All right, so we got the Ekumbokum. Let's go over here because it appears that our friend has a bit of a congestion issue. It's loads of little stuffed up. I don't know what to tell you. And oh wow, I think we got we got it on both sides from <laughs> just that one place. Nice. All right, cleared him right up. Jinxy, that's his name. Jinxy buddy, how's it going? Name's Ellison Cruz, and oh, this area. This is kind of a nice, nice little place. Somebody should clean the swabs a bit. Oh man, and some of the instrument instrumentation in this level is actually really kind of cool. I like it a lot. Now the thing about this particular area is we need to go and feed these mini jinxies in order to get a little bit higher. And there we go. The oscillation on some of these carpets and oh I messed up is kind of awkward because you'll notice it's just like it's all wavy so if you're not standing on the right part of it you'll notice when my shadow disappears I technically won't have a second jump it's kind of an annoying little facet and 
I have fallen way too many times here in my youth. So just jump a little bit earlier and you'll be fine. All right, eat it up. But I know how you like your raw eggs. Ugh. Yeah, it's, it's weird. All right. There we maybe go. There. Excellent. And now we can go up here, but we have to be fast and not die for our first jiggy. Excellent. Sure love me some oscillating carpets. Okay. Oh god, this dude. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> Get your mangy mitts off me, buddy. I ain't having any old businesses there. Oh man. Again, something with Nintendo and their games having to have faces and hands as just obstacles or enemies. I don't know. I was playing through Wind Waker because, um, well, spoilers, I think that's probably going to be my next project, just on the sheer notion that that's a game that I've been really wanting to do for a super long time, and it's been a while since we've actually had any longer projects. I, I want to say, um, what was my last long project? Maybe Super Mario RPG? And here, death, thank you. And, um, I don't know, I just, it, it's been kind of a while since Majora's Mask ended, so that would be kind of a fun thing, I think. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm just playing through it so that we can get a new game plus going, and then we'll be fine. We'll be good. Um, and actually, while we're doing this, I have no idea what a good way to be going about doing this, because there's so many areas that we can partake in. So what we're gonna do, let's, let's take to the skies, shall we? I mean, this area isn't too big. There's like five or four pyramids we need to deal with. So it's just kind of a weird thing. Magic carpets everywhere. Yeah, this game is a literal walking, I don't know, something or other. Shoot, we should grab these first, actually. We have these waiting boots. Wait in the fire. Wait in the quicksand, apparently. And we'll run for our dear lives. Excellent. I guess we probably, if we were just super desperate, just, you know, power through all of this and not even care. But that's right. I will not do such a thing. And instead of going all the way back around there, uh, I want to say, let's just go up here. This is going to be the blindest of all Banjo-Kazooie games you'll ever, ever seen. I um, so I have no idea who's watching this right now, but if you enjoy it, then I guess you enjoy it. If you don't, then... Well, you don't. Uh, so let's grab this shock pad, this flying disc area, and fall on it. And take to the skies. Like I said, lots of things to do here. And if we wanted to, hmm. Nah, we won't do the beak busting thing. And the only reason, okay, so we learn basically the, the turbo shoes in this area. And, oh, something about ancients to beat the witch. The witch bitch to rule them all. Thank you. Were you over here? Is this where you showed off? No. I was trying to read the text and talk at the same time, and it did not work. Oh, you're right here. <laughs> um, yeah, he's going to have a special ability for us to beat the witch, and it comes in the form of running shoes, which is kind of interesting because why? <laughs> right? Why? <laughs> but we'll see. As long as we can prove our adeptness at, you know, going through hoops by flying through them, <laughs> then we'll be fine. Okay, also we can use our Beak Bomb or whatever. So many really obscure names that they use for the moves to get across places faster. Like here, this one I think is way across the way, so let's go! And hopefully not... There we go. <laughs> his, little, his little chuckle, his guffaw. Alright. However, he's lying. He's a jokester. He can only give us something better. A Jiggy. Boy, good thing he gave us that. Otherwise, I don't even know what we would do. Okay, so we'll go back there later when we need to fly. Um, yeah, we'll go do this part first. Now, if I'm not mistaken... Shoot. Uh, let's go on this side. I think this beat bomb will work on either side. Oh, and you notice that Jiggy down there. We'll have to <laughs> deal with that later. But first, we must play the bullseye game, where apparently even after I turned off the thing, notifications are still going to turn on. They're messed up on X-Bone Man. Alright, let's go across the other side and uh, get inside this pyramid, shall we? Lovely. 
And, ooh, this place. So we've got ourselves a new buddy here. He's kind of an interesting folk. His name is... Ruby. Very nice. But isn't Ruby a woman's name? Nah, we're looking for treasure. Pipe boy. <laughs> His voice is so racist. Um, and he's got such a depressed little buddy here. Look at this guy. Look at this motherfucker right there. He's like, I'm just a, I'm just a little armadillo anteater. I don't got nothing to do with my life. So anyway, we can go and shed eggs into this very strange snake's food area, I guess. I don't know. And it has a really generous hitbox. Here. Probably because it's a shit box. Ha ho ho. And there we go. Excellent. <laughs> oh, his name is Histup. A nice shadow there. It's going through my foot. <laughs> Excellent. So we have the racist snake that extends his neck or his entire body, I guess. And it's kind of funny. I think you can actually climb this if you, yeah, if you fall. <laughs> okay. Now, before we forget. We're gonna go collect all of these. There's kind of lots of really random places to just steal notes, and they're in obscure places. Like, I feel like, there, yeah. Okay, it didn't let me go through there. Cause the door frame was just being stupid. <laughs> okay, and we're done with that. Lots of very little pyramids to deal with, and it's kind of interesting. It's fun. But now we can speak to bottles for one last time as we can determine things to come of it. Oh, and we got an achievement! Oh, nice! Okay. So anyway, Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run fast. Excellent. And that'll be important for later. But with that, we've learned all of the moves in the entire game, you guys. Isn't that, isn't that unbelievable? Well, you better believe it, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so we're getting this side mostly cleaned up. Uh, oh my god, this fucking scarab dude. Is that what you are? Get out of here, you jerk. <laughs> Just come out of nowhere and try to murder me, please. And thank you. Okay, so we can't get in there quite yet. As you'll notice, there's many areas where we need to activate. Whoop! Here, try this. Get out of here, jerk. Don't want to deal with you. Uh, is this where we need to go? This might not be. But it also might be. We got notes and our awesome turbo graphic shoes. Sweet Jesus. My favorite thing ever. So we need to jump across, avoid damage. Uh, we can't step in the quicksand, otherwise we get hurt. No. And we're gonna steal this from that asshole. If I don't suck at it. Here. Ugh. There we go. So Grabba's got a jiggy. And he was taunting us with it. He was like, oh, I bet you in a million years you'll never be able to grab this. Nope. <laughs> Instead, his magical phalanges go back into the soil from which he came. Or the sand, I guess. I guess there's not really too much soil in the desert. But this is a valley, so you never know. Okay, so we're going to go collect the waiting boots so that we can, wow, promptly get hit in the face and then comboed immediately. Holy smokes, these guys are being terrific. Thank you so much. Oof. Also mostly why I'm not picking up all of the honeycombs immediately is because I know I'm going to be needing to scrounge up for some while we're playing. But that's alright. Oh, so Banjo Kazooie, guys. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. Today is uh, February 28th. Still haven't uploaded a single part, but they're all scheduled and ready to go, so I'm expecting there to be very low amounts of views, because I'm pretty sure most of you have probably already seen somebody do this project. Or at least a couple, who knows? But I like this game a lot, and I'm having a really good time with it right now, too, so I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited, and um, we're going to be finishing up here pretty soon, because this isn't a very long game at all. 